starting the day off with dropping off a bunch of toys and dishes to the antique malls that we sell stuff at. Let's get her done. Hasn't happened in a while. This place is wrecked. All the Nerf guns are on the ground. Somebody's been in here playing. But we did have a couple good days of sales. That's why people were actually in here. Biggest, most expensive guns have sold. That's pretty dope. Gotta repurpose this space here though. It's never looked good. Gotta do something else with it. Look at all this train stuff. It's kind of nuts though. Let's just put a bunch of them on the tracks. Kids, kids roll up in here and play with these hard. And we're, we're overflowing with them, which is good. Taking a visit to my booth, I've got a ton of dishes to put in here, so. Got some spaces to fill for sure. So I'm pretty happy to get the new stuff in here. It's all looking pretty good. Honestly, whenever I came in here, I was like, mm, there's not a lot of holes. Nothing's really, um, nothing's too devastated. <laughs> Lol. That's pretty thin. I had so many Disney cups in here. They're just, they're all gone and it's only the one pattern left. <laughs> which is the one I had a bazillion of. So I'm not at all surprised that that's the one that's left. Cause I found actually this entire set at one thrift store in a city I can't remember right now, but it wasn't in Phoenix. So that's cool. Maybe someone will buy the whole set and just have all the, the Lumiere ones. I think they're pretty. They're one of my favorite patterns. The little cat planter, he's so cute. And the little popcorn bowls. Got this little guy in there. I'm gonna try a few more little like knickknack things and see how that goes. Um, Cause mostly what I have is just like cookware and actual dishes, but Tupperware wall and still needs some filling, but that's okay. Corningware wall is still looking good. It's pretty full. I definitely need to get a few more pieces in here, but I've got a cool bunch of cool big pieces, which is nice. Um, yeah. It's looking good. Now let's move on to the thrifting portion of today. I love this Goodwill, I really do. It's been, it's been a week or two since we've been over here. Oh my gosh, how beautiful would this be in like a velvet, maybe a yellow or a green, like an emerald green, that'd be really pretty. Like a dusty pink would be cute too. Mm. It was like $70, so there's no way I'm getting it, but it'd be pretty. All right. Oh yes, oh yes. I didn't even see it from back there. 749, good price. I sell this for a pretty high price and it's even better because the stand is here. I can't get enough of those. This is pretty awesome. Piggy bank, I guess. Well, my day's made already. Uh, this is one of my best selling Nerf guns for sure. What else, what else? They've definitely got the toys here restocked really well. Uh, I walked by the game section. That was not the case there. Did not appear to be very much at all. This is neat. It's huge. All right, I'm not seeing a lot else, but it doesn't matter. I got all I need. <gasps> Gary! It's Gary! I'm looking around the book and media section and uh, there's there's a lot here. It's kind of crazy how much they packed in movies, DVDs, books, but like next to no video games. Book-wise, there's not really anything I'm looking for. I've been standing here looking at them for a while, but just nothing, nothing I need. But I got a giant Nerf gun, so. So I've been talking about this for a little bit, um, but 
having just gone to the booth, it's really made me focus on this a little bit more, but I really need to do a whole shelf of just mugs, but just like really collectible kind of mugs. I don't see anything here that's gonna be great for that. Maybe this. Life is only pain. That's funny. Um, I don't know if it fits the theme of my booth, maybe in Dallas's booth, but I think we'll go ahead and get that. That's hilarious. I swear, giant popcorn bowls are following me. They're just everywhere. Every Goodwill I walk in, there's at least, well, this one's very common. So I think last season, that was in Powdery Burn, I wanna say. I don't know, I remember seeing it, it was really cheap, and I was just like, maybe I'll get that. Dallas eats a lot of popcorn, and then I didn't, because I was like, I don't know. I have bowls, I don't need that just because it says popcorn. Um, but now I see them everywhere. It's following me. All right, checking for Tupperware. Not seeing any. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I like these. $2.29, let me guess, they're individually priced. Dang it. it sucks, there's only three too. It just isn't really worth it. Ah. Okay, the pineapple coasters may have distracted me, but look. Look at it, in all its shining pattern glory. It's heavy, it is heavy. <sighs> find space, find space. Oh, floor it is. There we go. Set gothic South Park down. One. It's probably only two. Eh. Yeah, there's only two. I found some good little planter things at this Goodwill before, so I'm gonna try to Maybe score something. Like, this is kind of cute. It's all right. How much was it? $5 for a little too much. <sighs> that is cute. Look at all that patina. Aww. That's real cute. Three forty nine dollars sold. Find of the day. Well, that was pretty awesome. We are opening another toy booth across town and it's coming up really soon. So it's kind of imperative that we stock up on all the regular stuff, all the stuff that will sell well and uh, look fancy in a new booth on the first weeks. If I could pack it out with several of these bad boys, I'll be happy. But just getting my hands on one is great because it's different pieces and usually only one or the other piece shows up, never both. So the fact that both of those were there at the thrift shop in one day is pretty awesome. Pretty freaking awesome. All right, next Goodwill. This is about as far south as you can go in town. This is one of those 50-50 Goodwills. It's either great or bad. The last couple times it's been bad, but let's see if we can fix that today. This Goodwill usually has some pretty decent furniture, so I always like to check it. It's got some cute little benches here. $10, that's probably how much they were new, honestly. They are from Hobby Lobby. Oh, well, that chair's from Hobby Lobby too. Some, some Hobby Lobby stuff here. Ah, uh, I kind of like them, but for 20 bucks, I don't know how worth it it is. I think this is, I don't know, there's kind of some decent stuff for sure. That little army chest thing is kind of cool too. Not my style, but I feel like it's somebody's. Oh, this is cute. 10 bucks. This is actually really cute. Must have been a glass top on this. There's little bumpers for it. Well, now there's not. That's kind of good news. $9.99. You honestly don't see that very often at Goodwill anymore. It's usually like $9.49 a little damage it's not bad though I kind of love it I kind of want to put it in my booth <laughs> it's so cute okay video game wise great game already got multiple copies of it though Ooh. I don't have that <laughs> pretty sure I have that but we better check oh I definitely don't have that okay well some filler, but better than nothing. I just remember that they had a whole section of glass bakeware now. It used to just be right here, but I forgot last time we were here, they had just changed it over. It's very exciting. 
They like to look at all the glass baking stuff. I'm telling you, they're following me. Some anchor hawking, look like federal glass. Some corningware, no, made in Portugal. Well, that's Fire King, I don't need to pick that up. I've sold some pink luster in my booth before, um, but I haven't been getting any more of it because it's just not really worth a lot. And usually they upcharge it because they know it's old, even though it's not really worth it. Let's see what else they have. Watermelon. I've sold these um, fruit top pie plates before. That one just doesn't seem very special. We're not gonna get that one. So here's an interesting piece I've been sitting here eyeballing. This is a Vizio computer. It's a desktop. Goodwill doesn't really tend to sell this stuff. I think they've mixed it up and just thought it was a monitor, but it is actually an all-in-one computer. And uh, from what I can tell, I'm not familiar with this model or I'd probably make a different decision right now. But from the model number that's listed on it, I'm pretty sure it has an i5 processor in it. There's a second model that looks just like this that would have this model number with like a secondary character like Dash A or something. I think that one had an i7, which if it were the i7, it'd kind of be worth buying. It's probably a like all-in-one chip board where the processor is fused to the motherboard. If it weren't, if I knew it weren't, I'd probably be buying it just to take the processor out of it. But that's the only reason I'm not gonna buy it right now is I don't want to mess with finding the adapter and stuff for it and it's not really worth it. But I kind of kind of wouldn't mind having it just to play with, but yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it today. The little knickknack section is lit right now. You've got rows in a jar, basically snow globe. Oh, little Dalmatian, he real cute. Some frogs. I guess they're bookends. That's kind of cute. I kind of love that. Little cat piggy bank. Yes. Some totem dude. Let's see, how much are the frogs? I think they're $3.49 a piece. Woo! Should we do it? Where are they from? Nowhere. Cool. I mean, $7 for two frogs is probably not good because I can probably only sell them for about $15 to the very, very specific buyer. Hmm. Peace out, frogs. So I've definitely heard of Sock Monkey. He's well known, but Sock Moose? I mean, I'm into it, but I've never seen that before. Check this out. We just priced all that stuff, all that train stuff and put it in our toy booth. I've been going back and forth on whether or not we want to put train stuff in our toy booth. And the answer has kind of been no in my head because I don't really want to have to source enough to keep two booths going, but that's a pretty big chunk of it out of the way. It's full of tracks and stuff, and it's got a couple trains in it. Yeah. It's only 10 bucks, you think we should? It's got a bunch of interesting pieces. Well, it's the interesting pieces that definitely sell, so yeah. I think for $10, it's even one of those bridges is worth it. Yeah, we'll sell one piece in there for 10 bucks. Let's do it. Is that a giant shark? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a shark. plush shark. Here, look at this, too. That's kind of, <gasps> if that were a little cheaper, it'd be worth. Yeah, but totally. Five bucks is a bit much. Rip. I get it. Fix it, what is that? Is that a pony egg? I thought it was a, I thought it was a Furby. Okay. Oh, Look it's, good. it's one of those, uh, those ponies that you can like ride like a real horse. I pick it up. So it's 50% off green tags today. Some black Levi's that I can cut in half. $5, not a bad price. We'll go ahead and grab those. All right. Well, that wasn't bad. I got a giant tub full of Thomas the Tank stuff. I'm not kidding you. We got every single piece of Thomas the Tank stuff out of the house today only to bring back more than we took out <laughs> it's actually good it feels silly but it's actually good because uh it is one of our better sellers or it's one of our surprised best sellers the thomas the tank stuff so being able to put this stuff in the new booth we're opening it up i'll be pretty happy about that so we're in a dollar tree hannah's looking at the toys for something very specific for a future project it's all right you don't need to know anything about it just yet but while we were in here, I was up front looking for the Pokemon cards by the register, and the lady was like, what are you looking for? I was like, yeah, Pokemon cards? I said, Pokemon, jokingly. And I've heard her three different times ask three different employees if they had any Pokemon cards hidden anywhere. 
She's copying me. I steered her wrong and I apologize. <laughs> Last Goodwill stop of the day. I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm happy with what I found so far, but when we left today and I knew we were coming here, I definitely put all my hope in this one. Yeah. So fingers crossed, because this one's usually pretty good for us. But now the real question is, do I have a face mask? There it is. I, I pretty much wear four different face masks a day because I can't keep track of just one of them. So I really like this and I was like, I don't know if it's really worth getting. It's so cute. I would be like, yes, absolutely. It's $4.49. And I was like, well, where is it from? It's definitely cheap. It's from Ross, $3.99. So Goodwill wants more than Ross wanted. So I think out of uh, spite, I shouldn't get it. There's some really fun stuff here though. These are cool. World Market, of course. Lol, $7.99 at World Market, $4.49, that's not bad here. Sugar and cream, same thing. I like them, I don't know if I'm gonna get both of them, but I might get one, $8. Ooh. This is the dilemma I have, I like, I like that, it's cute. It's definitely something that people would like, but uh, I can't really charge much for it. Cause, I mean, if you bought it for $9 new or $8 new, why are you gonna spend $15 in my booth for that? Which is what I would need to sell it for to make any kind of profit on that. There are some games. It doesn't look like it's gonna be terrible. Paintball 2. I don't know if I know Paintball 2. Actually, it looks familiar. I probably have it. Definitely got don't have that, I don't think. Okay. Two copies. Yeah, I got all that. Ooh. All right, well, I'll take a look at these. I know I've got paintball. I know I do. I just know it. Here's a peculiar DIY. The dish with another dish glued to it with a doorknob in the middle. Is this supposed to be a wall hanging? It's all off center too. It's gonna be hard to see on camera, but it is. Hmm. Just wonder what they were thinking. Not a lot going on in the gaming electronics section. Some Wii Rats, that's kind of cool. Uh, plug and plays. Not a lot. You thought I was kidding. I'm not kidding. They're everywhere. I kind of, after finding all that other Thomas the Tank stuff, kind of hope that we'd walk in here and find some more or some more carts or something. This is amongst the coolest Thomas the Tank compatible pieces I've ever seen. It's got little draw bridges. I guess like, I don't know how it's supposed to work. Crank when they open something. I don't know, but it's really cool. But I am not paying 10 bucks for it. We came close to buying Thomas the Tank stuff again. Not gonna happen. What is this? Trick dice, let's go. Here's another like Ross type furniture deal. It's kind of pretty. It's not my style, but it's definitely nice to see the quality in it. But it does have some uh, some chipping and things like that going on, so it's not, not gonna be worth that, but it's cool. Ooh, that's pretty. That's probably expensive though. They kind of price their furniture accordingly here, which I mean, it's fair. Sure, get what you can out of it, but that is very pretty. $25 it's actually really nice anyone interested in a Wii U for 200 bucks I mean it's got a couple controllers a pro controller but $200 is pretty steep still on that brats hunt for sure I've been looking at every every bag of naked Barbies I can see this is the last stop that's not one but it's similar They've got a whole collection of like, I think they're called Bratzillas or something like that, where they are uh, kind of ghoulish looking like Monster High dolls are. But um, that was not one of them. Look at all these Toy Story figures, those are cool. Giant Mike Wazowski. That's a Litten. <laughs> a Pokemon name I'm very fond of. It's a cat, and it's lit, so it's lit. You know, I think today was pretty interesting. Uh, 
I only had one goal today when I left the house. I wanted to get all the Thomas the Tank stuff out of the house because we just, we've had so much of it. I had bags of it in other bags just all around the house. And I finally gathered it all up in one place and said, we're going to the booth today, Hannah. Let's get a price. Let's get it in there. Uh, which was good because, you know, it sells really well in our antique malls. But also, getting it out of our way from the house is always a good thing. Getting anything out of the house is always a good thing. But then, of course, we leave our antique mall. And what do we find? A giant bucket full of more Thomas the Tank stuff. Now, honestly, I don't know much about what's in there. I just know it definitely looked like $10 worth. So we'll dig through that. We'll, we'll do a little exploring in that tub today and just kind of maybe even decide how much we think all of that's worth. Uh, that'll be the main focus of this wrap-up. But first, let's talk about all the stuff that we got at the thrift today real quick. And then we'll get to the Thomas the Tank stuff. What did you get? Um, nothing exciting to start with. This is a pair of Black Levi's, which I can't get enough of because I've been doing a lot of creativity with jeans lately. And they were half off. So that worked out well. I was happy about it. But I'm very excited about this little enamel bowl. Um... My mom and my grandma had a lot of enamel bowls and I just, they they always remind me of them. And this one's kind of like, it's definitely got some patina going on, but I think this would be really cool for, I don't know, just like a, a like a plant thing. I don't know, a home decorative piece, but I thought it was really cute. So I got it. Very nice. And that's all you got today? Yeah. All right, let's talk about the stuff that I got real quick. This gun, you know what? This was another one of those things that was just today was like, that's kind of wild. I didn't point this out earlier in the video, but there was a white one of these, not the blue one, but there was a white one of these sitting at our toy booth yesterday. I hadn't looked at my sales report to, until after we left. Turns out this 50, 45, $50 gun sold last night. So perfect time to just take one back over there and replace it. I'd like to find some more of these really quick because I'd like to have a couple of these in all my booths as well as the new booth that we're opening, but I can't ever find them fast enough. I've got a couple of these laying around, but I don't have this, so we got one. I'll, I'll get clips in that, and the next trip back over that booth, we'll probably put it in there. Uh, I bought two video games today. I almost bought a third, but I opened it up. No, I almost bought two more, but one was missing a manual, and one wasn't missing, or didn't have the disc at all. So my baby first steps, we cheer two. You look over here behind this trombone, Lol. Lol, because that's where I keep my trombone by the Wii games. Um, that's my Wii collection. I've got some good stuff in there. I've got all the Sonic and all the Mario stuff, all the good platforming stuff on the Wii. But I, I do kind of want that full collection as it comes to me. So I do buy anything Wii that shows up that I don't have. And that was definitely stuff I don't have. Both games I'm not likely to play, but we have tried hard over the last year and a half to do some bad video games on this channel. And we end up doing a couple videos of stuff like that like every few months so those might be a good candidate for the bad video games unless you tell me otherwise maybe some of you guys like we cheer too and whatever that other one was the one with the baby looks ridiculous my baby first steps i don't even know south peak i'm usually <laughs> not surprised when that stuff is uh i mean there's there's a couple developers that just make tons of bad Wii games uh, i'm surprised it's not one of those uh heck, i don't know they might make a bunch more Wii games i just don't recognize that name okay are you ready to dig into this Thomas the Tank stuff? Let's do it! I'm very excited. Uh, I really don't... I know there's a couple big pieces, and we sell these big pieces, which I'll start with right off the bat. We sell these big set pieces for 10, 15, 20 bucks. Um, you know what? That last Goodwill we were at, I looked at a higher-end plastic piece. It was made by the same company. I can tell it's put together the same way. Uh, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm glad that was there. Now this... I'll tell you what it looks like going on here. I hate it. These are so easy to disassemble. But there's a whole house here. This doesn't look like it's going to be it. There's usually these little train stations that one of these sets in the bottom of. And so the train comes out of the train station. And you select the path. And you send it out to your rest of your train station. This doesn't look like one of those. This just looks like a little train stop like where passengers get on. I don't know, we'll put that back together and see. But if that's all there, that's probably 15, 20 bucks, 10 bucks there. Uh, if the rest of this is there, it's got a, it's a crane, obviously, so it's got a little crane that goes on top of it. If that's that, it's probably like seven or eight bucks. But we sell all the pieces for a dollar, two dollars a piece, depending on which sets they are. Um, the Thomas, the, there's Thomas the Tank stuff, there's an Ikea brand, there's another third party brand. 
And uh, sometimes we'll bundle up a bunch of the Thomas the Tank brand and just sell them for a little bit higher of a premium together. But it doesn't really matter because they're all completely and entirely compatible, even if they're those different brands. So let's just keep digging through here. There is the top of that crane. So that's good to know. All of that's there. There's a little wooden peg. And uh, yeah, it just goes on the peg. That's pretty cool. We've sold one of those before, I'm pretty sure. Oh, a bunch. There's set, well, there's a branded Thomas the Tank one that the, like, the crane has a face on it, like the Thomas the Tanks. That's not Thomas the Tank brand. But yeah, we have. We have sold one of those. Lots of other things. Uh, that's a gas station. That's pretty cool. Cool. That's not really a piece, but... Then, okay, so there are a few train cars in here, but they all look like they are aftermarket. There's a tractor roll. But, so we'll sell almost everything that's left in here. That's pretty funny. Star Wars figure, too. <laughs> we'll sell almost everything else in here for a $1, dollar, dollar fifty a piece. But there, it does look like there's a couple more things to piece together. So... This is worth it. I'd say all in all, this $10 will make us 100 to 150 bucks. If we're lucky, if we if we part it all outright, and I'm pretty happy with that. I wish there was more branded Thomas the Tank trains in there, because those are what kind of, when, when the right mom comes to our toy booth buying toys for their kid, when the right family walks through and wants to buy, and then go, oh, little tommy likes thomas the tank Ooh, they're, they're gonna want to buy him a couple of thomas the tank branded trains and then all this extra stuff is just the stuff that hopefully they can talk themselves into buying um it doesn't look I, i'll tell you where we did get i don't want to say we got boned here because we're still we're gonna more than make our money back but unfortunately the rest of this set isn't in here this is missing a wall it has, that might actually be missing two walls. I think I saw a side wall for it. But these aren't terribly expensive pieces. And honestly, they all come apart just a little bit too easy. And I don't think they're really supposed to. They're supposed to like, they've got little pegs in there that hold it together. Yeah. And honestly, if you drop them the wrong way, they break. So it's not really the best thing in the world anyways. That's where that one goes. And honestly, I probably would have, would glued it together if all of it was there but we're missing the back wall but that's okay uh, i'll probably just toss it out sometimes I'll, I'll keep stuff like this and try to put it together later but that's oddly specific right i don't want to wait for that exact one to come in broken again so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna keep that this had some interesting pieces on it i've never seen the gas station thing before so i don't know what was right there in those pegs that is the top of the semi trailer or or for the train you know the what do you call them? The, uh, just train cars. Shipping containers. That's what I was looking for. I was for. like, carrier boxes? Shoot, we, were gonna, <laughs> we were gonna get to everything but that. Um, there's a notepad. That's pretty interesting. I'm just looking for what else might have been on here. That's actually a wall to something else. Huh? And then these, all these show up broken. So here's one that's complete. But I've had a dozen of these in that are missing the clothes arm. So I'll probably just toss that one too. But... I'm happy. Uh, it's not quite enough to fill up another booth with train stuff. Obviously, we need more cars. And another one of our best sellers, it takes eight of these to complete the circle. Is that right? Is it eight of them? Yes. To make that go all the way around. And we'll bundle eight of those together and sell them for a little bit. And uh, those sell the best for us. So not only do I need enough to put these loose pieces in our toy bin booths, but I also need uh, enough to bundle some together. So... I definitely, you don't be surprised if you see me buying a whole bunch of Thomas the Tank stuff in the coming week or so, because I think we're, what is it, Hannah, a week and a half from opening our next toy booth? Yes. And that will be four booths total, which will be interesting. We had four to begin with, but uh, one of them was in Kentucky and we closed it down because uh, the shop was closing. So we'll have four here in town and then hopefully somewhere in the coming months, maybe open a fifth one. Uh... And I really think it's time to put Thomas the Tank in maybe not all of our booths, but most of them, because it does it has done us well so far, and this will be a good start to doing that. 
We just need more trains. We need more branded trains. All right, so before we get out of here, guys, comment below. I'd like to know, we don't have a ton of reselling conversations on this channel. Most of the stuff I usually ask you guys to comment below is really just more of our interest stuff. Are you into this? Are you into that? What do you think? But I guess we're, uh, from the standpoint of a reseller conversation, I'd love to know in the comments below, uh, what's one of the more odd things that you resell? This would just be an interesting, um, I think, community conversation we could have. <laughs> Uh, because I, I think this is pretty odd. I mean, it's not odd, isn't it? It's weird, but you know, it, it is very specific, I guess. And it's it's definitely something we stumbled across. Now, you guys have an added benefit of just kind of being able to watch us haphazardly stumble across this. I think it was February, right, Hannah, when we were back in Kentucky and bought a carload of Thomas the Tank stuff. Yeah. And we were like, this is cool. We're excited to go home and play with it, but we really didn't know if it would sell or not. Yeah. <laughs> we were fresh off a trip from my nephew's house where I saw how much my nephews like playing with them. And so we were like, well, kids like it, I guess let's try it. So of course we brought it home, we put it in our booth and it sold slowly for a little while. And then large chunks of it started selling at once. And that was over the span of three or four months up until about a month ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, where there's just none left. So I think we spent about $30 on our original haul and at this point have made probably a grand near off of it. Something, probably not quite a grand, but several hundred dollars, seven or $800 probably. And that was interesting. So I'd love to know from you guys, comment below. Tell me a story of something like that you've stumbled across that you've you've learned to resell interestingly. I'm not really interested in exactly what it is. I'm, I'm interested in the story because we all kind of learn weird lessons this way. We all kind of take weird gambles this way. And uh, we have conversations like this sometimes over on the Discord. So definitely go join our Discord if you haven't done so already because there's always people showing a picture of something rather specific that they're like, Thought I'd take a chance on this, and then we hear a week later they sold it for X number of dollars, and it's pretty crazy. So do comment that below. Um, if you want some extra credit, do go to the Discord and, and continue the conversation. Maybe show some pics of this stuff, because you can't post pictures in the comments below, right? It just doesn't work that way. Um, and if you want to go even further, far beyond, I've been having a lot of interesting conversations in... Uh, my direct messages, both on social media and over on the Discord with people that... And actually, we finally had a conversation with someone in, in public. Uh, we met someone while we were out doing our thing that told us that uh, we had in some way inspired them or notified them to the existence of this kind of reselling. And a certain number of people have at this point went and got booths. And uh, I've, I've asked every person that has either direct messaged me and said, Hey, thanks. We got a booth because you guys are... We've been watching you and we're thinking about getting a booth. I've told every one of those people, hey, let me know how it goes. Uh, because we talk a lot about this kind of reselling. This is where most of our reselling effort goes into. Our reselling efforts, about 50% Hannah's clothes, about 49% our antique malls, and about 1% eBay, right? And eBay and other apps. So I, I said that to say, I want to continue to talk on this channel about our antique malls and this kind of weird reselling we do, but it actually helps me if you guys kind of keep me informed with where you're at with the things that have to do with this channel. So if you are a long time antique mall seller or you've just gotten into it, uh, whether it was because of us or not, I'd, I'd really would appreciate some contacts some messaging on Discord or whatever about that specifically. Let me know how it's working for you. That way, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call anybody out uh, by name or anything and explain anything on this channel about your privacy or anything like that. I just want to be able to confidently talk on this channel about the antique malls and things like that, right? Does that make sense? I just, it, and if, if I've got 20 people in my ear saying, well, this has worked, that hasn't worked, I'll probably be well, uh, way more informed to be able to tell the rest of you about what's going on in that area of reselling. So, comment below come over to the discord direct message me let's just chat about these things this week i would love to learn something from you now we're gonna wrap this video up the last thing i can ask for you the last couple things pretty please subscribe we're super close to 7,000 subs and i really really want to make it a goal to make it to 10,000 subs before the year's over so if you're new to this channel or you haven't been around very long you haven't hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button and maybe even if you think you're sub just make sure you are because sometimes youtube gets weird and then uh, also, I guess the last thing is we do post daily videos here on this channel. So make sure that you come back tomorrow and hang out with us then because 
We'll be doing something very similar tomorrow, I think. Though I'm not going to promise you, but I'm pretty sure on tomorrow's episode we should be going to our other toy booth and doing just about as much restocking. So come back for that, guys. It's going to be fun. I don't think there will be any Thomas the Tank stock restocking there, but I got a bunch of toys to put in there. So come back tomorrow, check that out. Check out some more thrifting tomorrow. And until then, guys, peace out.